one owner car guy, one owner car guy dot com, and I'm at my local IAA. And I think everything's gonna be up here against the wall. If I'm not mistaken. Huh, okay. Well the SHO I thought sold last week. There's a sob here I'm looking at. It's a manual. But I don't know if it's going through. I'm gonna go talk to the guy. How's it going? Good. Is everything that's going through basically over there? A lot of it is. Okay. But uh, some of it isn't. So if you're having trouble finding something, I can uh, look up the stock number. And I haven't even looked at much yet. I just walked over there. But I thought that that tour is sold. Do you know if it's going to be here again? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Let's see what the stock number is. Okay, so it could be spread out here too, because I see a couple of them I'm looking at. I ain't been out here in, well, since Garner's owned it. Really? Way back when. <laughs> I think it was 25 years ago, probably. Okay. I think it is sold. Okay. So. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Okay, well, awesome. I'll find the stuff and. Yeah, Oops, and hopefully. If and if there's something that you're having trouble finding, as long as we can get a stock number on it somehow. And the stock number is the big number up there? Yeah. The <coughs> okay. Digit number there. Okay. Well, thank you, All sir. Right. Okay. This is not sold. I know that this one's on the list, but it's probably not something I'm going to be interested in. 159 on it. It's just not clean enough for me. It's probably a six cylinder. Saw here. I'm super interested in. Um, it's mostly junk. Every few weeks, they do have some cool stuff come through. But as of right now, not too much cool stuff. That could be considered cool if it had low miles. But considering the seat, it's doubtful. <laughs> so I'm here to look at a, a pickup truck, a Volvo, a Saab, and something else. Oh, Cadillac SRX. I mean, it's basically a wrecked car auction, but they get donations that are pretty nice. And I guess it just depends on where you are. Here's my Volvo. It's pretty thrash, and I knew this, but I figure this is an easy fix. It's just a, and that's just a little dent. It's not that bad. But the door over here is messed up. The paint's messed up. They clipped something pretty good here. I wonder if you can even open that door from the inside. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with this car. Might even be able to just put a door on it, but who would? I mean, it's just not that clean. What is that? It don't smell like mice or nothing. Hmm. Holy shit. Patricia Kumar, the last product. This person was driving. It has 130, but it's reset to tripo meter. As most people know with these Volvos, a reset tripo meter most likely means the odometer don't work. It's an 850. It's got all the, it's got all kinds of receipts and stuff. Extra keys, wrenches, keys galore. Now they don't allow you to start these things up here, which is public auction. And I don't think there any way you could anyways. They say it runs and drives, sunroof and everything. It's, I could buy it right now for 400 bucks. So, I mean, it's an 850 GLT. It's kind of a cool car, but it's kind of banged up. And the wheels in there, I wanted to see that. 
under the hood. Oh, man. I forgot how to... Oh, yeah. I just want to sell a cheap piece of shit. Literally. Might even... Plasti dip this bitch. Well... Liner's all there. It's not bad, it's clean enough under the hood. 20 mile. I don't remember if these are a GLT. I think it's a turbo, I don't know. I don't recall, I don't know enough about Volvos. But, I know I might be talking to pain. 400 bucks for that. Why not? Not bad looking. <laughs> wow, a TV truck got messed up. No, I found my sob. And it's pretty much just as I figured. It's clean. I honestly think this would take a buff. I really do. It's clean, man. Trim's missing. No biggie. Oh, it's so clean. I really do think that I'll take a buff, that's nice paint, man. Beautiful. It is nice. Serious, man, there's no rust on this car. On the wheel wells. Super clean. Wow. Clean inside, clean back seat. 116. Dash has a couple cracks. That's to be expected. Whoa. Everything comes on. Can't beat that. Radio? Oh, yeah. Must have pulled the radio. I think it's missing part of a lower dash here. I'm going to check in the trunk. It's Euro. So, being Euro, I should be able to just push a button. I haven't done a whole lot of these. Part of the lower dash, I think. Sort of. I don't know. Inside of the tail lights here, I'm not sure. But I did see a little corrosion. Wow, that's so clean on the hinges. But it's on the trim piece. It's just the paint coming off. This is a beautiful little car. I think I should just buy it now. I think they want 450 for it. And it runs and drives, they say. Let me pull the Pop the hood. That door is the only one I'm worried about. It'll take a buff. It really will. This car. It's a five speed. What a cool car. Well, you know, kind of cool in its own way. Some people hate this kind of stuff. I like it. It's getting to where you can't find this kind of stuff. I thought so. Oh man, girl that works for me I was helping a customer with one of these. Is this her Beamer? And she put her finger right there and got it rolled over. Oh my God, it was awful. It was an accident. There's no corrosion, man. This is one clean car. The single detail up so nice. You see, belt is still on. Seriously? No way that thing works. I guess it could. This is a nice car. I'm on this like stink on. Poop. California car. Somebody moved up here. Who knows what's wrong with it? I guarantee you, this car has some issues. This car's tight. 
I think I might just buy it. I really do. Well, headboard heater um, option. You know, it's, well, it's a sob. Here in the fucking cold weather. Okay, how much more stuff here can I look at? This I seen. It's a definitely a unique little car. Actually, clean. It is clean. I bet you there's a hundred. Well, no, I'll bet you that's regular miles. Eighty-six thousand. I believe those miles. Was this donated? This is cool. Cool little car. What is that? This is, this is nuts. Nobody, nobody wants this. Here, here a lot of the body shops buy a lot of stuff and um, fix it up and such. But, it's a clean little car. This is a clean little car. Somebody wants this. We got a little Iron Duke or something in it. What's this thing got here? Come on now. What we got? Overhead cam. Yeah, I think that is a little four cylinder. That's a pretty good motor. Huh. Clean car. It's not a very popular car. I mean, now to me, it's very classic. I like how it's hardly got a dent. There's a little rust. Dang it, right behind the wheel well. Along the whole side. Yeah. I think that's been repaired. So a little corrosion. But not on that side. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look this car up. Kinda dig it. Now there's a Jeep here. I'm supposed to be looking for. What is this? Charity? Car donation. I really don't know if I care about that rust. I might just buy this thing. I need something to sell. Okay. I'll put more in in a second. This is another one I wanted to look at. It's a little Metro. That stuff. Oh, it's open. It's clean inside. It reads 47. God, it looks like it's only got 47,000 miles. It really does. Hatchback, it's clean. It's a clean little car. These things get buku miles per gallon. I know that. That's, that has to be dealt with to make it look nice. Pretty simple. I like to see if they've got their owner's manuals. I'm buying junk here, but that may just be. I think it's got it's rolled over. But still, clean car, new oil filter. So they were obviously doing some maintenance. I like this car. I like, I like it a lot. I think I can make some money on that car. Okay. Somebody should just crush this thing and put it out of its misery. Junk. Especially with 200,000 miles. Wow, that... Oh, man. Someone died in that shit, man. Holy hell. Wow. I mean, it's all still intact. That's... It crumpled pretty nicely, but wow. Okay, I cannot find the Jeep I'm looking at, but that's okay. I wasn't that into it. Other than that, it looks pretty clean. Z71. Whoa, that used to be a nice truck. Biohazard. What kind of a biohazard? Touch this electric fence. They all say they're electric. Look at that. An electric. They're trying to fool me. Scare the shit out of me when I wrap myself up in it, though. Damn. Biohazard Pelegro. Look at all these tra oh, trailers, man. Biohazard.
Blood all over everything. Nasty. What the hell were they doing? Were they running from something? Wires wrapped around it. That thing's crazy. Holy smokes. This thing's up. I like this. This just got here. This will be in the auction. This is cool, actually. Whoa. 237, though. Sure is clean. Wow. For 237, that is one clean rig. <laughs> okay. They get some shit in here that I just wouldn't buy. Found my cheap though. They blend in so much, I just passed it by. I just did one of these a while back. They're pretty, um, durable little rigs. Looks like got some rust issues. But other than that, yeah, it's not that clean. Yeah, it's got a crunched fender. They want a thousand dollars. It's too much for me. I'm out. I'll buy that wrecked Volvo before I buy this thing. It's just too rusty. Just too rusty. Well, there's one more. And what happened there is I seen that Forenza just pass it up. I mean, they got some burn up cars, bud. I think that's one of the production type vans over there. Cause I know they're filming Yellowstone and they had a bunch of those. Holy hell. What these idiots do, run this under a semi or something? They ran it under something. You expect to see blood everywhere. What a mess. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna check out this pickup truck over here and um, call it a day at the auction. Okay, so this is the, I think it's about 150,000 lots of one ton. That's kind of cool, it's a one ton four by. That's kind of cool. Seat is for sure gouged up. No AC, strippy model. This is the bottom of the dash there. Headliner all good. It has 167. Headliner is coming apart. A good cleaning would do a lot for this thing. And I was thinking, you know, they make that duplicolor. I think I could duplicolor this door and get it close enough that it would look decent. And a guy can make this into a, I don't know, $2,500, $3,500 pickup. I don't know if I can get that out because it's just too rolled. But it's not really a big deal. It's a fairly straight rig. Fairly straight. Decent rubber. Pop in a little bit of, ooh, do I want to do another grill? Do I really? Want to do another girl? I don't know. in the first place. Instead, I broke my phone. 454, come on. What? A one ton with a 4.3? Wow. I don't know that I've seen that in my lifetime. It's a decent motor. Huh. Broke my phone for that? All right, so checked out the car auction, and now I'm gonna check out the auction auction. It's what? Jacks. Just one jack off. Mm -hmm. 
Kind of like the one we got, huh? Huh? Big one, too. What's up? Not much. Okay. Can I get by? Yep. <laughs> no? How many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Really, it's missing two. It's missing two. Because it's the 12 days of Christmas. Looks like there'd be one more. I think it's probably about six grand. This box. Six grand. Crazy. I want to buy all these, man. Yeah, but it's all trucks. See, look, they got four. They have four cases, and I believe they're about. I don't know. They have a lot of money. Oh, Christmas transept. Jolly Rancher, the Tropicana, the Milk Dove. Oh wow, that's right. They had this display. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of cool cars. Dairy delivery. I know. I want all the trucks. Street art. The game over series. Marvel Universe. I was. I know what here. McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Protect ninety seven. Game daily cards. glass I want to look at and that's about it. That's cool. The uglier it is the cooler. Wow look at the Yankee candle. 
I'm really kind of interested in this carnival glass too. Coca-Cola stuff ain't cheap either. Okay, well those are biohazard. They look like a zombie apocalypse happened to them. They got a lot of stuff marked biohazard. It's a good auction. Nice guy helping out. Well, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com.